Hello, hello, welcome to my small business diaries vlog two. I have recently launched an undated bullet journal on my shop. However, the process was very stressful, especially in the days leading up to my pre-order launch. Hey guys, so I'm having an issue with my journal. It's currently Thursday. Now I got the notification that my journals came in at my house at home. So my mother had to ship me one of the journals so I could take photos with it. The only issue is she shipped it and it was supposed to get here in two days. So like it should have been here yesterday, maybe today, nothing has come in yet. I don't know where the pack Packages, and I'm like if the package is lost that I can't launch on Saturday and like everything's last minute I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, as you saw there was a lot going on But once I got those issues resolved and I finally got my package in the mail I vlogged my process of launch day to the days and weeks after where I prepped and finally sent out all of my orders to all of you guys There's definitely a lot going on in this video But if you wait till the end I do have a special little giveaway So definitely stick around and find out how you can win one of my undated blue journals for free like I kind of explained, I was having a lot of shipping issues the days leading up to launch day. So I actually had to go drive and meet my mom halfway to my hometown so I could actually get a physical copy of my journal. My friend was there super helpful that day and she actually slept over. So we woke up super early the day of launch to take some product pictures of my journal. I know this sounds super, super last minute and it kind of was, not gonna lie, it was like very much time crunched. But my issue was I really wanted to launch this as soon as possible because obviously people start bullet journals like at the beginning of the year. So I want people to get to be able to order them before before the new year started and also I would have done these pictures like literally a week before but I was having shipping issues and I just kept waiting for the package to come in and it wasn't coming in which is why we had to wait till last minute but anyway everything got done as you can see my friend is here helping me take some very makeshift photos in my room but honestly you could not even tell that these photos were taken like this if you look at the website like everything looks super professional in my opinion speaking of the website once the photos were done we ended up well I ended up <laughs> just updating the website making sure that all of my photos were in everything looked super good because not only was I launching my journal I was also launching my website at the same time so I had to spend a little time making sure that all my last final details were completed all of my photos were in and with that I could finally release this out to the public I think it's live she's live everything's up oh my goodness everything's up and people are so nice you guys comments are absolutely so nice thank you for your support I'm a little stressed but it's fantastic and I'm very excited about this and I hope you guys love the journal oh my goodness okay I've been up since like 6 a.m and I've not eaten anything and it's 11 20 so i'm gonna go eat something good morning oh my gosh okay i just spent like the past couple hours figuring out everything for the website and everything but it's out it's up it's launched in case you haven't heard the memo by the past couple stories i'm launching my own undated bullet journal complete bullet journal filled with spreads for every day of the year 12 months of already designed art pages in black and white for you to color and fill in and then they're undated so you start the bullet journal whenever you want january march august whenever you want i'm so excited oh my gosh check it out right here I just got a super exciting package in the mail. This is the A4 portable thermal printer by Munbin and I'm so, so excited about this. I literally have never opened this before. How perfect is this? White with very cute pink top. I'm so excited to test this out and use it for my business. So it's been a few weeks since I first unboxed my Munbin printer and I am so impressed with how easy it is to use. So the printer comes with this little USB cord. So if you have a Mac, it'll go into your USB-C and if you have a Windows, it also has just a normal USB to plug in and it connects directly to your computer. So all you have to do is install a little software. It took me like literally five minutes to do and then once that's all set up, all you have to do is select this printer as your printing source and it automatically prints. Additionally, from the wire connection to a Mac or or a window you can also use a bluetooth connection and connect it to your phone or android and if you do print from their app they have tons of different templates for you to already use if you want to look into those as well the printer comes with a roll of thermal paper inside so that's the paper that you can already use and although it only prints in black and white so you can't do color because it is thermal printing this is so much easier because you don't have to go buy new things of ink every time you would like with a normal huge printer personally i use this printer to print a page of an essay that i need to, to make for my university however i can also see this being easily used for example in a bullet journal spread you can print black and white images you could print like little design motifs that you want to cut out and glue into your journal and it's super easy because you can literally just do it right at your desk you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to get a whole printer and load it with copy paper it's basically just a press of a button and it's there right in front of you for you to have in your journal currently i use this printer for a4 paper however it can be easily readjusted in the printer to like adjust the printing size any size that fits your needs and that you have a roll of thermal printer paper for. Overall, this is a great product. I 100% recommend. And if you want to get one for yourself, check out the link in the description box below where I'll have all the information you need to get yourself one of these printers and start making stationary and just general office 
needs so much simpler by just having a little compact printer right there on your desk with you. Thank you so much to Minbun for sponsoring this video. And with that, let's get back to the rest of the video. Wow, it is so nice to film in a place that you don't need to use a microphone because the AC isn't so freaking loud. In case you don't know, this is my house. So I'm back at my hometown for a month for Christmas and winter break. So I just drove back yesterday and everything's a mess <laughs> with all the stuff that I brought home. But that means that I can finally start trade AC problems for car problems because there's a street out there that's super loud. If you don't know, I made undated bullet journals and I got them all shipped to my hometown because I know I was going to be coming home for Christmas. So now that I'm here, I can start packing some of the orders that I've received and send those out and also turn my website from pre-order just to regular order because I have the access to my journals now. So I'm super excited about this. But before I get into any packaging and order making, which I'm going to bring you guys with, first I want to clean up this area because this is my old desk, but like everything and the grandmother's stuff is on this desk. So let's do a little cleaning montage real quick. <laughs> For all that stuff. I don't know if you can see me. Hopefully you can. I brought back most of my sticker collection. <laughs> sticker, ephemera, washi tape, and washi tapes in here. But I brought most of it back because I'm gonna be filming a couple bullet journal setups while I'm here. So I wanna make sure I have everything that I need. And it's obviously already in their little boxes. So I was like, not too hard to transport. But I had a bigger box that held, okay, not this, that held this together so it's like easier to store. And I left that back at my dorm. So I'm like, well, I'm stupid. I brought all the little boxes, but I didn't bring the big box to keep it together. I think I'm just gonna like stuff it in my desk for now. I would show you guys a close up, but you don't need to see what it looks like in here. I have this box down here. These are the moving boxes. Oh, it looks terrible. It didn't look this bad yesterday. Basically, I have these like fabric moving boxes. That way they're super easy to store when I go back and forth from the dorm to my house. So this is most of the stationery that I brought. And you might be wondering, Sophie, why do you need all this scrap stationery for only a month in your hometown? And honestly, that is a fantastic question. And I wish I had the answer for you, but I do not. <laughs> a couple of these are journals that I have been gifted that I'm actually going to give to my friends. I also have stuff in here that I need to film with. And then I brought my entire bullet journal collection because sometimes I film reels like, for example, four years of December themes. So it's like I need my old bullet journals to show all four December themes in preparation for something crazy like that. My two journals from Kuma Stationery, pencil bag, headphones, reading light, random cloth that I actually use in a lot of my videos. <laughs> bullet journal, bullet journal. This is a notebook therapy box, but it actually holds my external hard drive. <laughs> So this is currently the state of my desk. As you can see, there's a lot going on here, but I'm gonna start transferring things, possibly into the art cart, shove it in my desk. I'm gonna be here for a month, so I just, like want it to look organized because I'm very particular about stuff like this. <laughs> Okay, so my phone is like in a perpetual state of almost dying, but I'm gonna hurry and show you guys what I have so far as far as my journals go. In these boxes are all of my undated bullet journals. They're all shrink wrap and all delivered here in like that box and then there are three right here. Sorry, I'm trying not to show my address or anything. This is an unwrapped package of all of my shipping boxes. So basically each one of these folds into a box that I can put the journal in. This is basically what it folds into and it folds really easily and in side you see that I have an undated bullet journal. So what I want to do is I need to create a little label, a thank you card to go into each of these boxes. Then I need to find some white tissue paper, wrap them, put the sticky note on them or the thank you card and then get them in the mail. So let's start working on that.
good morning so new day last night i think you saw me making the cards i ended up having a lot of trouble with my cricut and it was not working very well so i made them but i didn't really film my process of like cutting them out now i have a nice little stack so as you can see they each have their own little thank you cards to put in each of the orders this is what they look like finalized so now i have a lot of orders that i need to just pack and send out and i'm gonna do that today however i want to do one order on camera just kind of show you guys my process and then i'll do the rest of them like on my own time so i have all my supplies here like i said this is the huge box thing that like you fold together to make the shipping box it turns out looking like that over there so i'm gonna fold one of these together it's actually a lot easier than it looks and then i have of course a journal that's been perfectly shrink wrapped and ready and then my mom also has this like huge thing of like white tissue paper that i'm just going to use to like fold around the journal Now I have the best cute little package. All I have to do is put the shipping label on top, secure it with some tape, and it'll be sent off to my lovely customers. Okay, so with that, I'm just gonna get all these journals packed up and sent in the mail. I'm very excited for my creations to be in your homes and for my business to finally be launched. This is super, super exciting for me. I do wanna let you know, however, that there is a giveaway in this video that I'm sure you've been waiting for. I'm going to be giving away one of my undated bullet journals for free to one of my lovely followers. I do wanna let you know, however, this is mostly an Instagram giveaway, so just as a preface but basically what you have to do is follow my instagram and then i'm going to have a post about this giveaway and so you have to share that post onto your story now you can get bonus entries if you tag three friends in the comments or if you share a different post of mine onto your story that'll give you bonus entries but the main requirements are just follow me and share my giveaway post from instagram at the mango studio on your story it'll last from today december 16th to next week december 22nd at 11 59 p.m central time and then i will be able to pick a winner and send them out as soon as possible because i want to get this journal to you guys for the new year because i know a lot of people start their bullet journals like in january so i want to get it to you as quickly as possible this is an only u.s giveaway unfortunately most of mine are but i do appreciate all my international friends i do want to let you know that although i only ship in u.s on my site i am looking to go international hopefully in the future anyway with that being said thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to check out munbin's printer if you're interested in getting a thermal printer that one is super super cool i'm excited to use it and also forget to enter my giveaway because because it is only lasting for a week and I cannot wait to send you guys one of my beautiful journals. So with that being said, check out this video over here on the screen if you wanna watch my most recent video, my bullet journal flip through. I think you guys will love that one. And I will see you guys next Wednesday because I'm posting twice a week in December for a new video. Mm -hmm.